you think the law applies to everybody but your friends? That's not fair. No, and if this was about anybody else but Sonny, you would be lecturing all of us on how we need to trust the system. Okay, first of all, I don't appreciate you coming at me like this. You know Sonny has always been good Robin, to me that and give to you. you the right to try and go into Dante's room and change his mind. But you have the right to sign him out before seeing his medical records. Was he fine? That's not the point. You wanted him out of here. Yeah, and for good reason. You know what Sonny's capable of. He's on trial for murdering his wife, Robin, and he shot an unarmed man who happens to be his son. You know what's his son? It doesn't matter. Listen to me. I don't care how nice Sonny was back in the day. He is a professional criminal. He is responsible for so much damage in this town, the town that our daughter is growing up in, and it has to stop. Time out. Everybody just get back to work and please review the protocol for releasing Give me a break. Dante was going to leave anyways. And now he's going to testify against his own father. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, Robin, but what is with you and these mobsters? I mean, first you defend Jason Morgan, who's waving a gun at a patient, and now you're defending Sonny, who tried murdering a cop. They're my friends, and you don't know the history. Well, what's to know? I am with Patrick. When you shoot an unarmed man who's standing right in front of you, you are not a nice person. All right, you are a criminal, and you should be prosecuted. Well, the okay, all right, that's enough. I can't afford to have my best people bickering like second graders, so if you need to fight it out, get it over with. Fine. Lucy, you have no idea what Sonny has meant to me, what a kind and generous person he can be. I wandered into his restaurant when I first moved here, and I found Sonny to be very charming. Yes, he is, and he has also given me all the love and support when I desperately needed it. Now you're a teenager, Rama. It doesn't mean you have to support him for the rest of your life. Not to mention the AIDS Memorial Wing. One of the hospital's leading assets. Okay, okay, the AIDS wing and the head trauma center are wonderful additions to this hospital, but that should not influence the way we treat any of our patients. So you think I shouldn't have talked to Dante? There's an argument that you were escalating a situation and that you put a patient under undue stress. I wouldn't exactly characterize our conversation as stressful. But if you don't want to get behind me on this, then fine. You know what? You win. down the orders myself. A CBC, just like I told you, if I... Yeah, yeah this is Dr. Weber. We'll need labs first thing tomorrow. And Dr. Scorpio is signing out for the evening. Mm -hmm. Thanks. First you undercut me with my peers and now with the support staff? I mean, what, this is what I get for defending Sonny? I apologize for being rude, but antagonizing the lab makes life difficult for all of us. Why don't you finish my round, since you clearly think I'm not up to the task? I already checked your patients. They're fine. <laughs> I don't believe this. Look, you're an excellent doctor. You have great diagnostic skills, and you have a cool analytical approach that I respect. But you're way out of line. So that's why you and I are getting the heck out of here. What, whatever. A chocolate milkshake. <laughs> I used to make them for Elizabeth when she got upset. Aww. How's she doing, by the way? That's hard to tell. She seems to be leveling out a little bit. What about the kids? They miss their mama. They are doing okay. Graham's the same. Mm. So what's going on here, Robin? Mm. I cannot have mob guys influencing patient care. I know. You gotta help me understand why you were so compelled to defend Sonny and Jason. Okay, Sonny does awful things. Jason does too. But they also do wonderful things. And Sonny, he took really good care of me and Stone. I mean, I know it, it might sound trite, but at that time of my life, you know, my parents were gone. I had my Uncle Mac, but I spent most of my time rebelling against him. And Sonny, he was the only person that really understood. He took care of me in a time when I really needed it. So, seeing the best in Sonny, is that a way to honor what he did for you and Stone? Um, I don't know. I, I just, I've seen a side of Sonny that not very many people have. A compassionate side, a loving side, a protective side, you know? And he's seen me at my worst. 
my most vulnerable and afraid and I don't know. Right or wrong, we have a bond that no one can break. And that helps me make some sense out of all this. But how do you think that makes your husband feel? Or do you want to just pull that board by yourself? Really? Well, here's the deal. <clears throat> I can beat you with darts, which will only make you matter. Or um, I can buy you beer, which might insult you. Or you can make us both happy and buy me beer. I don't care. Who's it? We all work together. And people's lives depend on us. So whatever is going on, you and me and Robin and Steve, we need to sort this out. That's why I followed you over here. But if now is not the time, that's okay, too. Okay. I'll buy. Then I will get the second round. Can I get two beers, please? So, <clears throat> what is with Robin and these mom guys? Not to get right to the point. Uh... It, it goes back a ways. I, I told you about Robin and Stone, right? Yeah, that's how Robin contracted HIV. Yeah, so, as far as I know, Stone Stone was a street kid, thanks. And, all due respect to Sonny, he did help him out. You know, he no strings attached, no mob ties, just genuine kindness. And then Stone died, Robin ended up with HIV, and Jason and Sonny were amazing to her. So, she still feels very close to them. Yeah. Keeps that part of her life separate. I'm not allowed in.